of the dollar on full display today. Georgia's Legislative Black Caucus joining with local civic groups agreeing to help with an economic boycott in order to get voting bills vetoed. CBS 46 political reporter Haley Mason is live under the Gold Dome with more on that story. Haley? Tracy, leaders with the Legislative Black Caucus have been fighting back against these voter reform bills that have made their way through the legislature. They've been fighting all session against them. They say their fight is not over. They're just expanding it now to the private sector. Our whole message to the our business community leaders that we cannot have them to be silent. Georgia's Legislative Black Caucus is collaborating with several civic groups to fight voter reform bills from the economic front. They say as the largest Legislative Black Caucus in the country, they want their impact felt in Atlanta's business community. They say business leaders have been too quiet in the fight against recent bills that they see as voter suppression. Lawmakers and ally groups are calling out major Atlanta-based companies, asking them to take a stand against voter suppression. There is objection. The election reform bills that are moving in the House and Senate will likely pass on to Governor Kemp's desk. The Black Caucus tells me they want to build economic pressure and even boycott certain companies that do not support the efforts. They also want Governor Kemp to veto the legislation. We have pushed back uh, from day one. We will continue to push back and we have called on our allies um, in the NAACP, the ACLU, and all of our civic organizations to stand with us, and they have. The Divine Nine has even um, stood with us. If we're not going to get your attention by how we vote, we will get your attention how we spend our money. And we will do both. Democrats say it is likely that the Senate version of the voter reform bill will be pretty much merged into the House version and could likely pass. That's why they're asking for Governor Kemp to veto it. He has not confirmed to us a stance to reject or support the bill one way or the other. So time will tell with just a few weeks left this session. Reporting live in the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank you. No